Bridge. One awesomely sweet road. Actually, it's not very sweet. It's actually very, very annoying. And oh my gosh, I need one of the helmet. This camera is killing me. All right. Oh, there's glare from my camera. All right, I'm gonna see how fast I can fall on this road. Um, hopefully, pretty fast and. Uh, I hope that's not a straight dog. I hope that's that couple dog. Alright, here we go. Well, this is Riverside Drive. It's a pretty curvy road. Not very good. I mean, it's okay for motorcycles. You can't go that fast. But something you can do is uh, get low. Alright, time to do a suit in the position. Down here, I almost out. Oh, just hit my visor. First couple times I rode down here, I was kind of scared because like there's a lot of potholes and uh, odds and ends and stuff like that. So I was like super scared to hit hit those. But this is actually a very fun road if you could uh, manage to not hit potholes, which is something you don't want to do ever. Oh, thank you. I don't want to go fast on this road. Look at look how crappy this road is. Look, there's so many potholes. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look, there's a big one right there. See, very nice. Oh man, that's sucks. I have never gone this slow before on this road. Woo! I'm not going very fast. I'm just doing that for dramatic effect. Oh, all right. Bicycle. I like the bicycle. Oh man, look at these potholes. <laughs> share the road. I did share the road. All right, this turn is so bad. Okay, I'll watch. Okay, there's a crappy lot of potholes right there. Oh, oh wow, they, they fixed it. Oh, not really, it's still pretty bad. Oh, there used to be a huge pothole. Why is there there's so many rich people live here, but yet there's so many potholes. Uh, well, whatever, I don't think they have anything to do with it. So I'm just going to calm down. I almost ran to this fence right here before. Because uh, when I first got this bike, I was really bad at like turning it going really slow. Now some people don't realize that going slow on a motorcycle is also pretty hard too. Because that's why most people fall like right in their parking lot when they first get their bike. No, well, maybe not when they first get their bike. But oh this is a squirrel. But they they fall because they don't understand that how that you have to pretty much use the clutch in like the parking lot area. If we 
they're going like really, really, really slow. Um, so that's why a lot of people fall, I think. I think. So, honestly, can't see. So yeah, that's why I think a lot of people fall when they when they're like, ah, oh, sport oh, bike motorcycle, so easy to ride, ah, oh, let's get on and go. No, it's not like that. There's a clutch, there's a throttle, there's the, the brakes and pedals and the shifter and all that stuff. And so they fall because they can't get the, the clutch uh, throttle control right. So they fall in the parking lot. Like, I don't know if you ever seen that video with that guy. I spent like 30, 30 something thousand on this like Harley looking bike. He gets on and he like scoots on away. And he, you can tell he, I don't know what he was doing, but it, apparently it looked like he did not know how to ride it. My dude ran into like a car and I was just like, oh, epic fail. Epic fail. And so, yeah, a lot of people just, careful when you ride a bike. Like, don't get a motorcycle just to look cool. Like, if you really like motorcycles, or want to get into them, then go for it. But, don't get a bike just to be cool. Because... <laughs> because you're just gonna buy it, ride it for a little bit, and or fall, and then you're just gonna end up selling it for something super cheap, and then a happy rider is gonna get that bike. If it's not already dented and all motorcycle get it because okay but see if you just want people to look at you a lot of people like get stuff just because of that I wouldn't get one just because you want people to look at you if you like stuff to look nice that's different from trying to get people's attention like hey look at me type type of thing I think it's a lot different from that because you're just you're not it's gonna be unfair to the bike I'm just saying that like like the bike is, uh, is, uh, like a person or something, but, but no, seriously, if you want to save gas, sure, get a bike, if you, like, uh, want to know what it feels like to ride a bike, yeah, want to be safe, um, uh, when you get a motorcycle, now wear gear, get, get some training, get help, learn how to ride. Take it slow, because uh, you mess up, you could die. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny, but if you mess up in the wrong area, you could kill to kick the bucket. But there's definitely been lots and lots of riders, after a certain amount of years, they fall on a certain amount of times. Um, I fell on once on a motorcycle, uh, and I got into one motorcycle accident. Not my fault. Some lady pulled out when I had my red 250. Some lady pulled out from a stop sign. And I almost T-boned her, so I tried to sort out the way, and my part of my fairing hit the front part of her bumper. It was just a crack on my fairing. I got 300 bucks for it, but still. Uh, I was only going 40, and if I would have hit her, I would have, like, flew. And pretty sure my bike would have been nice and, uh, scrapped. So... Now just be careful. So, tips on starting out. One, um, get, get, oh, hey, that guy is back. That's cool. It's a guy that works in that barbershop with that CBR. Um, okay, step one, get gear. Okay, that's not step one. Step one, figure out how to get a license in your area. I'm not gonna do any stuff because it's stuff. So figure out how to get your license. Get license. Of course, get some gear. You need uh, gloves, jacket, helmet. Uh, I would prefer boots. It's not best to ride in sneakers. Some sort of boots. I usually wear uh, Tim's. I'm riding Tim Timberland boots. Uh, and because my riding boots are like track track boots and they're kind of uncomfortable for daily wear. 
if he gets some riding boots, that's good. Uh, other than that, we're say get some sort of work boot or something. Ooh, Pennsylvania. Um, and then learn, definitely learn how to ride. Uh, know how a motorcycle works. Like, hey, there's a clutch, there's a throttle, there's a, there's a brakes. Um, so learn how that works. Uh, get practice. Don't do anything that's going to distract you, like putting a camera inside your helmet while you're riding. Um, when you first start off, you don't want to do that. You just want to learn how to ride and enjoy yourself. Because uh, when you first get your bike and you get your license and you're all good to go and stuff, you're going to want to just like ride around for no reason. I mean, you don't even have a particular place to go. You just, especially around springtime, you just get when it gets uh, out of winter, if you live in a colder area, you just get to the riding itch. Like, ah, I just, just want to go outside and ride my bike and do uh, wheelies and crash in and stuff and jump off ramps and stuff. You know that feeling like when you're little, like when you had your bicycle outside, you just wanted to do stuff like that on it? I mean, minus the crashing and the jumping off ramps part. It's like the same thing, so that's the feeling that you get. Learn, learn how to get that... Uh, that feeling where it's like, I mean, I like riding because if you don't get that, and you go in there and you do a bunch of stupid stuff like do a wheelie and crash your bike, you're never gonna ride, or you just your bike's just gonna sit in the garage and not be happy and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, learn how to ride and enjoy it. It's definitely enjoyable. Some people, it's a means of life, transportation, all that. And people love riding doing professionally and going on tracks and stuff like that. So enjoy yourself when you're riding, like really. If you don't, then you're not going to ride. Most people don't understand, like why, why do you go out and ride for no reason? Like, like when you're riding on a motorcycle, it's, so, it's a hard thing to uh, describe. It's just, it feels so good, especially when you get wind blowing through you and everything and it's warm and you're on a bike and you're just cruising. Looking at everything, enjoying yourself. People don't understand that. If you don't ever 